Juneau worked to recover from historic flooding, Alaska's governor has surveyed the aftermath. Governor Mike Dunleavy met with state and local leaders today, saying the damage is significant and impacting hundreds of Alaskans. He says he's grateful, though, that no deaths or se uh, severe injuries are reported. He verbally declared a f the flood as a disaster yesterday. After the log hit our garage door, that's kind of what started the, the domino effect of the waters coming in. And a woman living in Juneau describes the moment her house began taking water in the this week's palatial dam flooding, which led to her, her husband, and their cats evacuating through an upstairs window and then onto a raft. That woman is one of dozens impacted by the record Juneau glacial flooding, a group of people struggling now on how to move forward. Investigative reporter Johnson Kuhn tells us the state now has assistance programs to help them. Johnson? That's right, Mike. As Juneau residents within the Mendenhall Valley are now in the process of assessing the damage, for families like the Lindoffs, they've been too busy with recovery to be aware of Governor Dunleavy's opening individual and family grant programs now open today through October 9th. We thought we prepped 100%, you know, like we were ready. That's Danielle Lindoff, a Juneau resident of 25 years, explaining how she and her husband Kamal were caught off guard by rising waters that ultimately forced them to evacuate their home early Tuesday morning. Escaping through a window into a personal raft with their cats, the Lindoffs were able to safely make it to a nearby family member's home, only to return to their house a few short hours later to assess the damage. We spent all day pumping water yesterday out of the crawl space in the house. With their home only facing exterior damage from last year's record-breaking floods in Juneau, Danielle says that's all they were expecting for this year as well, but it didn't turn out that way. We don't have flood insurance. We've lived on the river for 13 years. Last year was supposedly the big one, and it still didn't get into our house, so we had made the decision to not get flood insurance. Uh, in hindsight, we you know, probably should have. And the Lindoffs are far from alone. With so many residents preoccupied with salvaging what they can, not everyone is aware of the assistance potentially now available. Governor Dunleavy and, uh, and his team has been right there ready to help us. Juneau City Manager Katie Coster explaining how after the governor declaring a disaster yesterday, he has now made individual and family grants available for those who are eligible. But we just strongly encourage everyone that has damage from the flood to apply. Uh, that's really the best way to determine what you're eligible for and work with one of our caseworkers to, to make that determination. With applications now officially open, Zydek says that in addition to individual and family programs, temporary housing assistance is also available for homeowners and renters unable to return to the residences. Zydek added that while they want everyone with damage to apply, he says they encourage people to contact insurance companies first to see if any coverage is provided. Also, before applying, it's best to gather personal documents such as IDs, proof of ownership, and title deeds to help his office determine your eligibility in a timely manner. We've made that information available on our webpage as well as our mobile app. Johnson Kuhn, Alaska's News Source. All right, thanks.